Hi you guys, Wagwan Wagwan, it's your girl Alisa Shea Lucid here today with another video for you guys. So if you loved my last DIY, I'm pretty sure you're going to love this one. So before we get into the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below so let me know what you think about this DIY. So without further ado, in the day must grab you a brush any brush at all as long as you know the bristles of the brush is like soft enough so i'm just using that and some glue to smear it around this folder jacket you can use other paper if you have cartridge paper or if you had color sheets you could have used that too also glitter or if you had reflective paper so you don't have to like restrict yourself to like this method that i'm using you can use something else and just follow the steps after um, the painting section so so I'm just rubbing down the blank leaf on the polar jacket to make sure it sticks pretty well so I grabbed this paint from my nearest craft store it doesn't have to be a special type of brand and um, I was just going to paint a little section of the paper with a different color so make sure you guys stir your paint because if it's at a light mine you're going to get this light color so you don't want that so make sure you um stir your paint So now I'm going to do a top coat with some red paint. We're really going to find the rainbow. <laughs> so stir, stir, stir. You're good, good up paint because you don't want, as we said, the watery look at the top. So make sure you get that nice and thick, and you put it all over your first layer. We're top coat now. So make sure that the bottle you'll be using for this DIY, you wash it properly. And you wipe it off good and nice and clean because we're going to be painting this bad boy and we want everything to smell good and the paint applies smoothly no rough edges So make sure that your glue is nice and dry and you get this um twirl or this roll up really nice because you don't want it to be all over the paste because this part is so vital for the look we're trying to achieve so nice and clean and even so my quick check back on the painting you have to make sure it's dry 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 and um this needs a little bit more drying so 
we just put that back get back to the buckle and you can use any color in the world that you choose like you like i just use black because i thought maybe for this look everything would you know pop more so i went with black Say, remember when I tell you nice and clean and shiny? This is what I meant. You see that light, that reflection, how pretty? You can't achieve that from a dirty bottle, you know? And worse if you go pretty again and it smells bad. So, you have to clean up your face. And this is just the first coat. I went in again with a second layer. This is coming along marvelously. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> I know you're looking and you say, yeah man, they come to get a nice look on that paint. Let me tell you about paint, you know. A1 paint at this, you know, yo. So now, what artwork, art, it's ready for usage. You get your scissors and you chop, chop, chop some blocks along these edges. So, I'm doing four sections, cutting them. And we'll do a look at design. Yeah? Make sure you take notes, you know. Because you're going to learn this art class, yo. So, I made a mistake. Folded it on the wrong end. You'll see it. You'll change it and do it straight down the middle. Cause we want more room for the design that we're going to do make sure you fold it like i do so that you're seeing the painting from the inside when you fold it and it's not on the outside because everything would have totally go wrong if you did it the other way around and i'm going to be drawing some butterfly patterns on these paper because we're going to cut them out afterwards so that would be our art if you don't know how to draw a butterfly just use me as an example i kid you not we can draw in about them butterfly and it come up pitchy patchy <laughs> me not like. But you can still do it anyhow. Anyhow you can draw them. You don't have to be perfect. You see me I say? So we got four sections filled with butterfly drawing. And I'm cutting out the first one now. You're going to see how it come out. Look at that. Artwork. Marvelous. <laughs> Charmed, I'm sure. So look at your girl really creative. And I'm gonna get your butterflies a perfect like more, you know. Cause you know, the student not go bad as the teacher, you know. So nobody beat up herself when you know get them so nice like mine. You see what I say? Practice make perfect. No look pan colour, wash pan colour. Nice. Marvelous. <laughs> So okay, enough kidding around. Let's get straight into it. So we get a butterfly patterns and if you find that you didn't do enough, you just repeat the steps I'm gonna show you. Grab your buckle now, make sure you set the paint nice and dry because if it's not dry, you're going in trouble and it'll start for a bath. So make sure you say it's nice and dry. And I did finish painting up at the top that I had and I'm uh, going to get my glue and use a brush. Well, maybe start use the buckle, but anyways. I use the brush and smear along the paint as I'm to make it go and stay and dry because we're not using a glue gun so it won't dry immediately. You don't want to start them on and then start drop off because this is just a headache in itself. So after finish gluing all our butterflies and leaving them about a five second to dry, look a bit. Let's apply our very first butterfly to our nice clean bottle. Butterfly. Butterfly. Alright, so we got the first one stick onto our bottle. No problem here. I mean, it's really coming along nicely. Me can feel that still because me got always in my work. Marvelous. But look on that. Look on them colors a pop, bro.
So we we'll come along and look at the design. You can do it any way you want your pattern. You can do it in a A, you can do it in a X. I just chose to put them along the side like a look of swoop. So as you fill them in, you will see it. And look how girl artistic now. Oh sir, what are we my and them bless? All this right now can go from black market or any market and cost roughly about one sixty sixty-five too cheap. One hundred and sixty-five dollars. <laughs> Whoa. Now to whirl your buckle around the world and just watch the design. We just give it a quick look of photo shoot, but we're not finished yet. The pumpkin splatter. So, we're doing a bigger butterfly to finish the top because I didn't like the way it looked. So, I wanted to give it a more official finish. As I say, it's all up on the black market and other places. So, we can't just have the thing just not look so professionally done. Ta-da! Was it worth the wait? It sure was for me. And I had a lot of fun making this, no lie. So this is look A. And I did go back in to add more butterflies to give me a second look. And I added some writing for um YOLO for real. But unfortunately, all good things must come to a wonderful end. So thanks guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one.